it looks like my uh, video camera cut out. Uh, I had uh, written down this uh, slogan, Unitarians misuse blasphemy law to hide rape. And uh, while I was writing it, an uh, older woman, uh, you know, probably 70-something, uh, you know, sort of stood there watching me finish writing it. I hadn't completed writing it, and then she seemed to have difficulty reading it, you know, perhaps because she was standing off to the left and looking at it from a somewhat oblique angle. Um, but she finally figured out that the last word was rape and that the word before that was hide. And so hopefully she understands uh, that I am saying that Unitarians, specifically uh, top level leaders of the Unitarian Universal Association in Boston, uh, do in fact, or have in fact, attempted to misuse Canada's blasphemy law in clergy sex abuse cover-up legal bullying, which is intended to conceal what the Unitarian Universalist Association's uh, Steichman, Elliott, Barristers and Solicitors litigation lawyer, Maitre Mark andre Coulomb, describes as uh, such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. So I didn't write pedophilia down yet, I'll probably get around to it. But we're just getting started up here with our protest uh, outside the Unitarian Church of Montreal on Friday, June the 9th. Uh, protest uh, which is basically happening now because the Unitarian Universalists in Montreal, the Unitarian Church of Montreal, are having a gala dinner to uh, celebrate their she didn't look at that. Oh, it's, now she's singing. <laughs> this is what we call uh, willful ignorance and uh, psychological denial. The kind of willful ignorance and uh, psychological denial that uh, Unitarian Universalist Wallowin, you know, she took a very brief look at the slogan and then immediately started humming a little tune in her head. Yeah, I guess she just doesn't want to know that the uh, Unitarians do in fact misuse Canada's blasphemy law and legal building intended to hide rape. And, you know, not as anyone else in the Unitarian Church of Montreal really. If they were concerned about this, they would have done something about it, you know. They would at minimum have uh, demanded an explanation from the Unitarian Universalist uh, Association about... Uh, <laughs> a little windy today. <laughs> so, uh, well, you get to see the back side of the signs anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they're good. I think it's true. So. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's documented. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true. So this guy is looking at my signs, and he says he thinks it's true. Now, he probably doesn't know all the details, um, but he was looking at uh, atheist you use or accusing me of blasphemy. He was looking at uh, the back side of that, and perhaps... Uh, you liars bear false witness against me. Well, that's certainly true. Uh, Unitarian Universalist liars have told quite a number of lies about me. Um, Unitarian Universalist perversion of justice sucks you, ask us you. Not sure what he saw on the back side of that. Uh, Unitarian Universalist slander and libel. You can't really disagree with that because regardless of what the slander and libel engaged in by Unitarian Universalist is, you can say that it does suck. Uh, so anyhow, we shall uh, probably write down another chalk slogan. I just want to rearrange the signs. It is a bit uh, gusty and it, the wind is sort of knocking down the signs, so I might have to uh, reduce the number of freestanding picket signs. Uh, but for now we're going to uh, put back up uh, the ones that got uh, blown down and I think we will write another chalk slogan while the going's good so uh, grab some more chalk and uh, get to it <clears throat> Jogger heading this way. Let's just uh, let him go by. And uh, yeah, so where and how to write the slogan? That's the question. 
Um, okay, so we got some people uh, heading in from the uh, other side, from the west. Uh, it's, uh, oops, looks like one of my signs. Oh, no, I thought it got knocked down, but uh, no. Okay, got somebody coming this way who looks like a probable Montreal Unitarian. But, uh, perhaps not. He doesn't seem to be heading into the church, at least not from the front entrance. So, yeah, it's just a question of uh, where to write the next uh, chalk slogan protesting against the fact that uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association, and thus by extension the Unitarian Universalist religious community as a whole, because the UUA represents Unitarian Universalism in North America, so that guy did go back in the back way, uh, so most likely a, a Unitarian or someone associated with the Unitarian Church of Montreal. But anyway, getting back to the Unitarian Universalist Association, in that it is essentially the official uh, you know, representative of Unitarian Universalism in North America, say nothing of the world, um, you know, when it hires a lawyer to falsely accuse me of uh, blasphemous libel, well, it's uh, basically, um, you know, doing so on behalf of the whole Unitarian Universalist religious community. So yeah, the wind really got the picket sign there, blew it uh, a good distance away from the uh, fire hydrant where I had it leaning up. So yeah, we might have to put away the freestanding picket sign. I mean, it's not gusting, you know, constantly, but it seems every now and then there's a gust and uh, it gets the picket signs. So here's a, at least one face I recognize. So. Yeah, people are making their way uh, to the Unitarian Church of Montreal for the uh, gala dinner. And uh, yeah, I think I see uh, one or two uh, other prospective uh, people here. Perhaps not. Oh, yeah. So the uh, woman in yellow who I have seen before is going in. So let's just... Uh, Make sure this thing is exposing well and recording well. Yeah, it seems to be all right.